So I'm back and I have been working in Hannah Lynn's book again on this page. And I'm in a little bit of a dilemma. You can see her out, it's turning out fine. But do you see this right here? Now all the way across, they're straight and have little balls on top. And then suddenly this one's crooked. And I don't know if it was supposed to be the edge and it didn't get connected. I don't know what's up with it. So I can go through, use a black pen and connect all these so that it looks that way. Or I can do a really, really dark background that covers it up. And I was just opting for the dark background and then I'm wondering, should I go ahead and just connect those? But you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and do the dark background. So in doing that, I do still wanna leave part of that there, but what I'll do is come up like this and then it's got that ball on top. So I'll come around and then down. and that will be my background now. This is navy blue. I'm still not loving it, but sometimes it just is what it is. And I think part of what I'm not loving is the background color up next to the skirt color. Plus, this really didn't take place in pitch dark yet. You know what I'm saying? But that does cover that fairly well. Now then, because I want it darker on the bottom and I want to get lighter as I go up, let me slide over to my pencils. and I have put them in order so it's easier to find now. I'm gonna come in with black and go right there at the bottom. Right here around her is just gonna be black over the top and I am blending into the blue here. And I feel like that's a pretty good cover of that gated area. Now the only problem is I'm going to lose all this because this is so dark. Alright, I have a fix for it, it's okay. I've, I've really tried to think this through because there were options of just totally whiting that out and redrawing it. Um, there was doing a solid black background and letting the stars just pop in the sky. There was doing what I'm doing now. Doing what I'm doing now, obviously, one out. All right, so I wanted to do some of that so I can show you what I'm going to do to this area when I get to the gate. I've decided that the gate because these people were supposedly kind of well off. I mean, they were. They had a lot of possessions and stuff. You know, it's Cinderella's story. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue that around her. And as I go up and out, my thought is to get lighter and lighter. So then what I'm going to do, I've got my gel pens here. And I have to think, do I want silver or do I want gold? Um, you might even think wrought iron, but we can't do black because we're already doing black. So what I'm going to do is I am going to grab, see, and I'm grabbing the gold. I don't like the way it looks up next to her dress and her hair in the sun or the moon. I really want something that's going to be different, so I'm going for a silver. Now here's a silver, 
this may even be clear. No, y'all, this is, it's insane the amount of gel pens I have. And I've been just not using them because I'm afraid of running out. And I'm like, that's so stupid. Why would I have something and not use it? Okay, so these look more like a really good gold. I mean silver. So then after I've done that, I'm only going to do this one piece here. I'm going to come back in. Put my gate in. My fencing. And I can still see this. So I'm going to go over it. with the gel pen. Now sometimes there's a hard um, place every now and then where the gel pen doesn't want to stick, but I think I'm okay with the way this is working. I'm making these lines even a little bit fatter so that they'll really show up. Can you see that now though? So I will do that all the way across on both sides. And there's not much, there's a little bit there and then it's spotty over on the other side. But let me show you some other things. Um, originally, I had thought I would do the background like I did here, all right? And that probably is what I would have done had I chose to fix the spot that is in Cinderella by Fabiana. It is a discontinued book. I believe all of her books are discontinued. Here's another one of Fabiana's. This is The Wizard of Oz. I wanted to show you in this one where I did opt to actually fix something. I'm always adding to the backgrounds. This is all added. That background was not there. It was just a solid blank page. But, whoops, cut the camera. There we go. This had lines in it, bold black lines. Now, if you can look carefully there, you can see where I took a white gel pen and went over those. And the only thing is, when you color, they do show up a little bit different. Now, it blended real good right here and it's fair there. When you get over here, it shows up even a bit more. But there are so many different white pens. This is Sergeant Art. This one came in a package that was evidently cheap because there's no name on it. This one's by Crafty Croc. This is um, actually a glaze pen so it's not the same it works um, more like just a shine clear top coat this is made for retail yeah I don't know that's just what it looks like oh I bet this was in one of the target spots like a year ago when they were selling them this some of you will recognize that little emblem on there and it's the jelly roll but it's like uh, stardust so it's by sakura so i'm going to leave that one pulled separate because it actually comes out like different colors of sparkles it's really pretty it's like an iridescent i used it in cinderella uh was it cinderella let's see if it's cinderella if it is, I can show you what it looks like. Oh, no, it's not this Cinderella. It's, um, I did it in Ruth, Ruth's Cinderella, Ruth Sanderson's book. But anyway, then there's Sergeant Art again and Uniball Signo Broad. Make sure it's the white. This I got open stock, and I think it's what I ended up using on that Wizard of Oz, but it will, I haven't used this in a while, 
that you can see it will write on anything. Now, not just anything, but it does really well on when you have a spot that you think you need to cover up or um, an accident that it just didn't look quite right. So, anyway, that's what um, that was from. So, anyway, have fun with your pages. And like I said, I just wanted to come in and show what I was going to do there. And I really think that's going to be okay. It's going to make the page look dark. But then there's enough stars that I'm going to be using a glitter gel pen on. Her wand's going to be a glitter gel pen. These clouds are probably going to be white. I may even use the... Um, the one I told you has different colors in it, the Stardust. I may even use that gel pen on that one just so I can get some different sparkle and stuff going on, even if just to outline them. You know what I'm saying? I may use that Stardust pen for that. But anyway, um, I'm also still going to come back in with gel pens and do all this little intricate stuff. So, other than that, I got nothing. That's all I know for now. I will talk to y'all later. Bye.